we uh, just going to jump right into the main topic for today, which is the Twitch thought epidemic and its consequences. And to get started, we're just going to kind of react. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to check out by Shoe on Head. Make sure you subscribe to her content, etc. If you like that content. Today, we are talking about the Twitch thought epidemic and its consequences, as well as OnlyFans culture and the decentralization of... I promise this will make sense. So how often is it that you will pull open some sort of a social media thing and you're bombarded with kind of just sexual content of some sort? Oh, that's every day. <laughs> right? That, I mean, that's every day. The thing that I'll just say is like, by no means am I a prude. I'm not, I'm not trying to say, oh my gosh, there's too much dang skin around here. But at some point, it's kind of like, all right, guys, enough is enough. We're, we're getting a little out of control here fellers and ladies and i'm just saying to each their own but at the same time you should have some spaces that you just kind of aren't expecting to be seeing buttholes and stuff you know what i mean like, it's just it's kind of like a common courtesy that if i go to mcdonald's for example it's a fair chance that i'm not going to be seeing a butthole but you go on to social media it's like i don't know dude <laughs> it might be rolling through here and see a butthole or two while scrolling that's just on social media so like for it to be also on twitch is quite alarming to me where it's like she'll talk about it here so i don't want to get into it too much but like this is supposed to be for 13 and old content on twitch and like the top you know people that are on there when it like suggests content are these gals just like it's essentially just playing with the algorithm and the the terms of service it's crazy to me so what are they getting away with she's gonna go into that says hello help what's happening so let's let's get a look at this here real quick here all right <laughs> Like all my videos are just kind of messy brain vomit. I mean, I guess that's one way you could be sure I'm not plagiarizing. When I start to sound smart and make sense, that's a red flag. I figured out how to use chat GPT. So for those of you who are unaware, Twitch is a video game streaming website, or at least it used to be, where people often stream themselves playing video games and interact with their viewers. But recently, in the past few years, it has been invaded by women. But not only women, naked women. Now you might be asking, you might be asking, shoot, <laughs> what is wrong with that? And normally you'd be correct. But Twitch is a website for kids. Advertised for users 12 and up. And predominantly you- 12 and up, I was incorrect. That's- Oh my. That ain't right there, sir. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just saying, dude. Used by young boys. And the question on everyone's mind is, are these evil Jezebels preying on today's youth? Or are they simply the product of capitalism? Clever, sneaky women taking advantage of people living under a brutal system in order to selfishly make money. That That's the thing that weeks um, I was going to say is it is kind of wild that that many children are on Twitch in general. But I guess it is for video games, right? So like for, as a parent, you're just like, look, I want my kid to be able to watch video game type content. But at the same time, they're probably stumbling upon this type of stuff that she's going to go into. And that's that's the real concern here. But that being said, the for the children argument, it is kind of like a long standing yeah. argument that has gone out throughout the ages. And sometimes I've found the the where you know what about the children argument is a valid concern whereas other times i've noticed it's just kind of like a a justification for bigotry and or controlling people so like the most famous example i was just talking to a friend the other day would be like the the case of socrates socrates was killed in a tribunal or in a trial for quote unquote corrupting the youth which all he was doing was just kind of like teaching them philosophy which was causing the youth to you know ask questions and there's these people who are in power that didn't quite like that very much so don't anyway, you talk about the church that way we'll burn you long story short on that one is that he had to drink hemlock tea and essentially kill himself by court order because of it so got to be careful on that but in this one i personally think it's valid because it's like quite frankly showing kids that is in my opinion and and we can talk about it a little bit more but i i think that if you're showing young boys that type of content whether the 
the, you know, the gal that's doing it is making money or not, you are in fact kind of perpetuating this, you know, anti me too movement type of situation, right? Because you're making that woman kind of like she's choosing to objectify herself, but it's now being kind of like done in this, you know, private method on the internet and it can be perpetuated towards many, presumably many millions of, you know, 12 and older boys. So that's my biggest concern of it. But I mean, the content in and of itself is like, really? I, I'm just mind blown. <laughs> this is what it's gotten to, man. <laughs> like, oh. Go, this tweet showed up on my Twitter timeline. What's going on with Twitch? It showed a streamer wearing no shirt, swinging her fun bags around slightly off camera every time she got a donation. So for strictly research purposes, I went to Twitch <laughs> to see if this was real and surely enough it was. And it wasn't just one streamer, it was many, it was multiple. It was the entire home page. And then when you went to click on one of the streams, it just took you there. No verification needed, no login required, nothing. And the whole internet pretty much agreed this was insane. Not everyone, we will get to that, but most people agreed this was crossing a line. Because of all the outrage, Twitch changed the rules, not to fix the website. They changed the rules in order to save the Twitch thoughts. Twitch actually doubled down and made it so- Because so it says, Twitch announced that artistic nudity will be allowed on the platform. These are the new po updated policies. Twerking, grinding, and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. Artistic nudity, permitted under sexual themes label. Body painting, acceptable with appropriate label. Interesting. Twerking, pole dancing, and artistic nudity was allowed. Artistic nudity. Right. So obviously, <laughs> Twitch is run by simps. We knew this. Anyway. Artistic nudity. So like, can you glue googly eyes onto your d**k? You do like a little meat spin on camera with googly eyed d**k? And that would be considered cool and fine because it's art. Right, Twitch? Why am I still doing this? So then VTubers, <laughs> animated YouTubers, took advantage of this new artistic nudity rule and started streaming their avatars butt ass naked. It's called hentai and it's art. Only for them to get banned while the Twitch thoughts remained. Clearly 2D girl discrimination. A few days later, Twitch finally banned the Twitch thoughts for a day. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. This has been going on for a very <laughs> long time. From hot tub streams to ASMR ear licking. What Twitch has just becoming a cesspool for this stuff. Especially in the past three years, following a pattern I have been seeing online. A huge increase of OnlyFans models and <laughs> everywhere. And it isn't just my observation, it's a fact. There are many studies that came out that show pornography and pornography addiction increased significantly during the pandemic, especially for young people, and hasn't decreased since. And the amount of people making content on OnlyFans has skyrocketed. Being locked in our houses absolutely did something to our brains. You used to have to go out of your way to see this stuff, and now it's everywhere. Now compare this to how I talked about this issue a few years ago, where I would make fun of people for complaining about- This is like walking into a strip club and being like, get your horny asses out of here. The difference is now everywhere is the strip club. It's to the point where right. even meme accounts on Twitter are being paid to discreetly advertise only- Right, so I wanna talk about this real quick. I just wanna wanna quickly talk about this because this just literally happened today. And uh, I didn't even think of it, but it, you know, up until, uh, you know, I started watching this and I was like you know i never i guess noticed so closely because uh usually i'm just kind of like more pay paying attention to the feed and not so much to reels but if you notice on the facebook app at the very top it will suggest a bunch of reels that you can scroll left or right to kind of reveal oh, yeah. a bunch of reels well i was noticing that pretty much towards the very front almost always were a couple pages i'm not going to mention them but we'll just say they were meme pages okay Okay. And, and the thing that kind of annoyed me about it is like, what? I, I never even, I guess, closely looked at it. But after seeing this video, I was like, paid attention to it for a couple days. And I was like, really? It is the case. They, they were literally just showing, you know, uh, people, you know, squatting down while wearing a thong or whatever. <laughs> like, just, just kind of like lewd photos, one would say. <laughs> and it's a meme website it's like the website is for posting memes about 
you know, like uh, Eastern Europe and, and uh, you know, kind of like Russian type stuff. I want to say that I started following that one around the time that I was playing a bunch of Escape from Tarkov and I found some of those memes funny uh, with like the scabs and stuff like that. But yeah, it ended up where literally at the top of your page, every single time you open up the app, it's suggesting to you this picture and it's like i think what if i was on a break over at work or whatever and i pull up this thing that like a quarter of my you know screen is filled up with two and three thumbnails of reels that's like somebody just kind of like scantily clad and you know squatting down so you can like peer into their butthole or whatever and that's kind of alarming to me because I honestly wasn't even paying attention to it because I scroll up as soon as I open the app to just kind of like go through the feed and check out a news article that pops up or whatever. And that that to me is kind of like yet again talking about where you're not even trying to search for this stuff, but yet somehow it's getting into your media diet or so to speak. Yeah, it just kind of pops up there. So, Jason, if you look if you look at my if you look at my screen right now, this is what just popped up without even searching anything. Oh, oh my! Yeah, it is at like Brian says, "Ass ahoy." <laughs> well, like she's literally got an inflatable pool and a blanket laying in her underwear okay. eating lemons. So, there's rules about that. There's rules about that. I'll, I, I've actually, so Charlie or Penguinzo or Moist Critical or whatever is, uh, I struggle like with the, the Penguinzo. Like, is that how you're supposed to say it? But anyway. So, I call him sure. Moist Critical too. Yeah, yeah. So, I call him that too. So Charlie brought that up and said that it is, and he's talked about the subject too, where he was saying that essentially <laughs> you're allowed to be in a quote unquote bikini if there is a swimming pool nearby so they'll just literally place a kiddie pool that they're never going to get in so that they can meet the top. <laughs> wow <laughs> i'm just saying this is where it's at is like the thing that i i find i like about it personally as a, as an adult is just like it's kind of funny that they're essentially trolling the toss. You know what I mean? They're just like, oh, got to have a swimming pool? All right. And you just put like a kiddie pool with like an inch of water in it. <laughs> yeah. Because when, when, when it first pulled up, the kiddie pool was 10 feet away. And right. she's literally on her knees in front of the camera sucking on a lemon. <laughs> it's like, all righty then. <laughs> What did I step into? <laughs> but let me guess. There's a. There's a. But let me guess. She has like a like a link tree or something. Probably. <laughs> and and that's that's where I'm saying is like, if somebody this is a trap. Is doing this I'm, is a trap. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not over here trying to like criticize sex work necessarily. Because, you know that that's something that's going to continue happening. I would prefer if sex work is happening that it's done in a safe manner. And let's be honest, them being on a camera is safe for everybody involved for the most part. But the thing that I struggle with is like time and a place, you know, and how they're how they're going about it and right. like how they're getting their viewership. Right. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. And as a matter of fact, it's actually not just like uh, on social media. This is happening. It's also happening on dating apps too, like Tinder for one, because right. I don't know how many times I've matched with girls that I seriously thought that were like actual looking for like a, like looking for some sort of connection. But really, they were looking for OnlyFans customers. I'm like, are you like that <laughs> right there makes me angry. That angers me. And here's the reason why. Number one, most women, if not all that I see on my tinder feed say i want honestly i want this i want that okay but then when you match them and then they are completely dishonest about that and half the time they're dishonest with saying like yeah i actually have a tinder because i wanted people to join my only fans i'm like 
why didn't you start with that? And maybe I went out of wasting my freaking time and getting your info and trying to talk to you like I thought I was going to go somewhere with this. Like, right. that, that, that's that, it's it's very aggravating. It really is. I mean, right. and not to mention, um, and yeah, and I'm not, yeah, and I don't, I mean, I, I don't have anything against sex workers myself either. I mean, a lot of them do it for survival, and I completely get that. I have zero qualms with that. But however... If you <laughs> use the fuck if you out, try to bro. Not a, <laughs> chill the fuck out I, I, with it. <laughs> yeah, not, seriously, just like like do, like quit making it like about you quit making it your personality <laughs> right. and don't like try to bait people. If right. I mean if you want people to join you, just be like, hey, take a look at this or something like that. You know, go just be be transparent. Don't be like trying to say you're you're really you're wanting this, but truly you're after this. That right. that to me i don't care for that it's i'm like, sorry it's i don't like the internet's uh the internet's version of the used car salesman <laughs> they're all like hey exactly hey, you're a nice dude and then like you talk to them for a little while and they're like hey want to see my butthole for 10 bucks <laughs> yeah, like seriously <laughs> you know like I mean? i'm like dude like, no damn dude i didn't i crazy. didn't even know this was going there but <laughs> It's only ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and and, it's like, and I didn't realize. Yeah, and honestly, I didn't realize Twitch was that bad either. I honestly didn't right. realize Twitch it's was that bad. Man. I'm, I'm re- I mean, I'm rarely on it. I'm really on Twitch. Right. I only downloaded it just simply for the for, for our group. That was it. Right so as I, I was coming barely on, barely touch it. Right as you were actually not, I was right as you came on, and we were getting <clears> your screen all set up. She was just talking about in this video about how it's creeped into social media and onto meme accounts. And I found, I think it was two meme accounts that like the last couple days, I just kind of started weeding through them and just unfollowing. Cause it's like, it's dead serious up on reels at the very top of the uh, Facebook app. It'll show as the oh, thumbnail, yeah. the thumbnail for yep. the, the video for the reel is just like some person in a thong and or or it's like they're wearing right right it's just like okay i thought i joined this thing for the memes guys like (laughs) where did we go wrong here you know what i mean like (laughs) yeah it's too much i mean yeah like you say a time and a place and it's just just that concept just is just totally out the window now anyway let's and 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 go ahead but I, I just want yeah, to and and like I said, and yeah, and like I said, the day before, or I think it was sometime this morning, I watched some of the video prior to this podcast, and I, and she said that you know Twitch was originally supposed to be more for younger teenage viewers to, to view their favorite YouTubers for right. game or gaming, you know, and now we go from that to now there's literally girls that are like dress, like purposely dressing skimpy. To, to get viewership and then to eventually get people to try to buy their only fans fansly whatever right I mean, that's that's not yeah that to me i do not respect that that's that's like that's like that's like like the equivalent of of facebook keeping track of what you view and what you viewed outside of facebook and then selling your information so that way they can spam fuck your your you know your your feed with that particular information that's that's the right. same equivalent right yeah and you know how we feel about that not very not very well about it right let's uh, continue this here let's try to get through another 10 minutes or so and then uh, open it back up again only fans pages and you can't even block the accounts that show up as ads <laughs> on- i wonder what they're doing he's zipping her up from the back and what a gentleman <laughs> on twitter great website one. elon 13 plus, by the way. And anyone who points this out is called a prude or a conservative. If you have an issue with naked women making soft corp on a website full of children, yeah, you're the that problem. Is not How even, does the you're overall well be? even crying there. Like, you're not even trying to hide that. I mean, seriously, a play button in the middle. Right. Uh, right. Really? Being of society affect you, bigot. Most of the internet seems to agree that this Twitch thing was wrong, but there were a lot of people mad at me and others for pointing out the obvious. So we're gonna respond to some of those critiques from people who disagree on this subject, and then we're gonna talk a little more deeply about all of this. Because I feel like it's a little deeper than the Twitch thoughts. The Twitch thoughts are just a symptom of a disease. Why doesn't Twitch just make a new 18 plus site? They do this on Twitch because the market is already saturated on actual cam sites. They won't stand out. They- Look at that guy's face. Wow. 
<laughs> Look at that guy's face. That's so funny. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? Uh, you can find a larger, younger audience on Twitch. What I'm trying to say is, these should be banned. Okay, so my tweet was a little harsh, but... Am I wrong? <laughs> Blaming these women for what Twitch allows and calling them <laughs> accomplishes nothing except morally grandstanding that you think you're better than them. So first of all, <laughs> I am better than them. So are you. So is everyone who doesn't make on Twitch. And second of all, I know calling them <laughs> does nothing. I did it because it was funny. These are grown ass women toying <laughs> with the TOS. They know what they're doing is wrong. They know they're walking a fine line. That's why they're here on Twitch and not on the hundreds yep. of adult websites that exist. If a parent so, so this is, this is something I guess we should pause. I know I wanted to get through more, but there's just so much content here because when Shu says kind of this incendiary thing of you're acting like you're better than them. And then she was like, I am better than them. And the Ooh. inference she's making there is like, we're not, we aren't going over and like trying to lie to somebody about what we're doing to get them to try to kind of bait them into viewing us. Like we're very upfront as to far, as far as like what we're trying to convey in the podcast or, you know, things that, you know, we're talking about on other videos and stuff. It feels like with the Twitch thoughts, it's like, they're not, it's almost like they're trying to just go to the very edge of the rules to push back, you know, the goalpost over and over again on the toss, or maybe it's a case that, you know, and I, I think that, uh, she is, is pretty spot on with this is that all of the websites that are for that type of content, like the cam girls and, you know, the porn and stuff like that are so saturated that you can't really even make money off of it in comparison to using say Twitch as first off, you can make money off of Twitch, but second off, you can then use that as kind of a bridge to get somebody to the OnlyFans account type of situation. Mm -hmm. So there's always this incentive of, you know, trying to get money out of people for sexuality. And hey, once again, sex work is all right. Uh, you know, I think it should be safe and be done in a safe manner. But at the same time, don't come into a website that's for 12 and 13 year olds and start trying to do sex work. If I was in uh, Make a Bear in the mall over in Davenport and some gal came in and started propositioning my son to go over and look just high enough so you couldn't quite see her jugs and she's just, you know, blasting her freaking nipples all over the place, I would have a problem with that because that is not the time and place <laughs> for you to be doing that. It's like... Sure. I mean, the kid breastfed, but you are perpetuating once again. There's no way and no argument that I'm ever going to hear that is going to keep us from saying, hey, you are per literally perpetuating the uh, objectification of women stereotype onto young mm -hmm. kids now. And we already yes, know that are. that's a yep. fucking problem. So why are yep. we doing this? What for a capitalism? So you can make a few extra bucks. It's like, it's just kind of disgusting in my opinion. It is a bad thing to do. Yeah. I mean, I mean, coming from a psychological standpoint. Yeah. That's yeah. You're like you say, you're, you're really, you're, it's, it's, it's a form of desensitization right. actually. Right. Cause I mean, if you're, I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're pushing that stuff on to people that are not even then that, that are not even hitting puberty yet. Yeah. That's no, yeah. There's a lot of, there's more harm than good being done here and, and and it's for the sake of them just getting that those those the the extra clout and the extra money i mean that's just yeah that that's not cool that's not cool at all and that's why i have a really hard time you know even like trying to respect only fans as a concept in general because it's so used grossly right and and you know i mean again i again i am not attacking women who have only fans i have zero qualms with that my problem with that is that they that's the way that it's being used and how they're getting the viewership and how they are getting all the all the you know the money that they're doing is by you know going into places that are not uh that are not you know plus 18 only demographics and that's not cool that's not cool at all right and and i think discord is having that problem too oh, if i'm yeah, not mistaken big time, big time. let's continue
Heretics are so dangerous to you, maybe you should lock yourself in the cave. Cry more, little bro, and tell your fellow bros to stop thinking with their dicks. Um, hello, fellow <laughs> bros. Stop th thinking with your dicks. Brace yourselves. The incel's about to lose their minds and act like women are ruining Twitch. <laughs> Lol at the men in these comments admitting they are not attracted to women. I'm sorry you don't like hot women. Maybe work on the internalized misogyny. <laughs> nah, sorry. If you don't like huge oiled up milkers bouncing around on a Huge oiled up milkers. Thank yeah, you. says the one with the profile pic as oh. provocative as that. Oh, <laughs> I gotta clap at that one. Oh. Huge oiled up way? milkers. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Twitch stream. I'm just gonna assume you hate women. Do straight men even like women? Oh, you're not sexualizing women? You're not just Dude, I'm just saying like if nope, if gay. it's a case I'm totally gay. if it's a case yep, I'm gay. that somebody uh and this has happened numerous times, but it's it's worth making the point. How many times have we seen on the news or in what auxiliary or et cetera about women getting unsolicited dick pics? And then now women are just all like, what? You don't like these huge oiled up milkers in your face? What the hell, man? You know, it's, it's like we have come full circle where the guy's just like, oh, 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 I, I wasn't expecting those huge oiled up milkers in my face. And and prior to that, it was the same thing with like the dick pics. It's like, whoa, I, I I thought we were just talking about cheese, and then you could just go over and send me that big hog. What the hell, you know? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> we're just we're just men. Men were just kind of like sexually harassing women for so long. They're like, all right, two can play at this game, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, but here's the problem, though. We didn't make money off of that. That's they true. Are. And hey, 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 do you know what? Do you know what? Maybe we were stupid for not doing it. You know, like maybe we, maybe the women, they wised up. They're like, oh, yeah, we can make some money off of these huge milk, you know, oiled up milkers. Oh, shoot. My gosh. Dude, Technically, thanks for couldn't saying you call that. it? I, thanks for saying that, though, because seriously, yeah. So you don't like it when you get unsolicited unsolicited freaking schlong pics right. oh, but when you are going on the platforms that are literally with around freaking minors and flashing provocative pictures and videos of yourself right and but at the same time also trying to make money off of it by trying to get people to go to your only fans and whatnot oh but that oh but that makes us misogynist but that makes us men misogynist and not like women apparently Exactly. Gooning to every woman you see? What do you hate women? What are you, gay? How did they manage yep, to reverse okay. engineer being oh, yeah. sexist into I'm not going a wooga, a wooga, honk honk every time they <laughs> see a woman? Incredible. <laughs> Huge fan of these mammoth milkers, but I yes. do worry about the dynamic <laughs> and weirdness of women who are essentially sex workers interacting with and asking for donations from chat on a site largely used by young men. Feels like a race to the bottom. When Vosh and I, the people right. who talk about Pokemon are saying things have gotten weird. I it's Pokemon <laughs> Smash or Bass. <laughs> wow. He's probably a furry. I think that's wow. proof that things have gotten weird. As a sex worker, I agreed. I dislike the blurring of adult and all ages platforms like Twitch and TikTok, but I also don't know what men expected when it's so successful either. I don't know, I guess men expected women not to get right. borderline naked right. on a website occupied with children, maybe? The bar is right. really not that high. There is a market for- They would literally like, get whoa. canceled if you were a YouTuber. <laughs> you probably would have been on the sex right. offender registry. Are you shitting me it's right now? It's like, <laughs> excuse me, I would appreciate it if you would keep your bra on and also not jiggle them around provocatively. We're trying to have a conversation. <laughs> Can you imagine first date is like, okay, so what's your favorite food? She just immediately Boy. Just starts... <laughs> give me fifteen dollars. Give me, give me fifteen dollars. Literally everything. It doesn't make literally everything excusable. If you give your kid unrestricted access to the internet, that's a you problem. Parents have to take some level of responsibility over their child's online content consumption. But so once, I, once again, this is content that is, that is dumb, meant that for is, children. It's literally argument. meant for children. And, exactly. And you shouldn't have to, like, curate things that are supposed to be curated already. 
agree with this. Of course I agree with this. Parents should absolutely be monitoring what their kids are looking at online. The issue is Twitch is advertised as a website for them. It is advertised for users 12 and up, so parents will naturally assume right. that the website doesn't feature like this. I think that's a pretty reasonable assumption to make. Like, I don't have to sit and watch Nick Jr. constantly with a 10 year old just in case Peppa Pig decides to go girls gone wild. It's safe to assume that is not going to happen. So yes, you should be monitoring what your kids are doing online, but this isn't like a kid going onto an 18 plus website. Right. This is a kid going on a website that is advertised for them that is made for it's all like hey guys you need to keep your kids from watching Pornhub duh it's like well yeah but that's a page that is meant to be 18 plus it's it's just wild to me well, some of the yeah, arguments it, it, that people come up with it's like did you, yeah, not, actually, did you even think before you said that <laughs> for them so this is in big part the website's problem a lot of people were saying that the solution to this would be making twitch 18 plus which i agree makes perfect sense to do but the thing is twitch won't make it 18 plus because that's what drives away advertisers lots of advertisers won't advertise on websites that are 18 plus <laughs> it's too risky it's bad for their brand and amazon the owner of twitch needs more more money, of course. Same reason Twitter isn't being made 18 plus. Because at the end of the day, the richest men in the world need more money. And apparently Twitch is going bankrupt. No wonder they want to keep the Twitch thoughts on the platform. Also, I didn't even know that Twitter was only 13 plus until embarrassingly recently. Elon, I beg of you, either make Twitter 18 plus or get rid of the I personally think the former is the better idea because I'm tired of seeing unsolicited opinions of minors on the internet, and I just don't get tired of seeing images of strangers but pop up on my Twitter timeline while I'm scrolling in public. Always right. a joy. But think right. of the children Why aside, Twitter. Twitch is exactly. just not a website for this. I there are that thousands shit. of other websites for this. There are so, so many. So why do these women have to do this on a website not for this? Well, it's simple because the websites that are made for this stuff are already oversaturated. Right. The market is full and basically these mids are not going to stand out on so so this this actually is a symptom like she says of a much larger problem where in our version of capitalism you must as a company to be considered profitable or good you must grow by a certain percentage every single year and it's built within the system so when you have a situation like with twitch and with facebook and with twitter and et cetera, where you've essentially exhausted the amount of people that you can get onto that platform, <clears throat> you resort to other methods of making money because you can't show increased growth once you hit that cap. If you're saturated 95, 96 plus percent of the total number of people you could possibly ever have on the platform, making money it becomes difficult you've got to resort to these stupid things like pulling things on there that uh, normally weren't on there to attract different audience members etc and it just goes round and round it's sad on a dirty webcam site where there's thousands of other people doing exactly what they're doing but when there's only a few dozen on twitch doing it they're more likely to stand out get more followers make more money and attract an audience that wouldn't normally go on those other sites unfortunately in this case a much younger audience i remember in like 2008 or so i did a fan meetup and most of the people that came were in their 20s in college in their 30s but there were like a few 12 13 year olds 15 year olds with their parents and i was just like oh oh no like it just didn't even occur to me that people that young would be watching my content or interested in my content but just the fact that people that age knew about me was so scary. So I just have to wonder, like, how are these people not feeling that way? Like, I didn't purposely go out of my way to attract that audience, but these people are going out of their way to attract that audience. If they weren't, they wouldn't be doing it on this website. They would be doing it on the websites this stuff is for. What makes it possibly even grosser is the fact that Twitch uses in-game money, meaning a kid could use their parents' money to buy Twitch bits or whatever the f and then use those Twitch bits in order to get these women to interact with them and to shape their t and their parents would never know. Many people suspect this is the reason Twitch made that change, but 
I don't know. It does line up with Twitch's MO. They will do anything to keep these women on their platform. They are their cash cow. They bring in the big bucks. After all, there is a market for this. Men. Takes two to tango. Most of these bitches would be broke if it wasn't for your coomer asses. Oh wow, sex workers sex working under capitalism? How crazy. Every man in this comment section has mommy issues and gets no actions. Y'all mad she's making more money with less effort. Finding this actual makes you're a pervert. Go to your dead mom. Wow, dude. Smartest Someone Twitter user. Oh, Sounds yeah, like there you're just mad been, uh, you can't manipulate a following right in the same fashion. <laughs> Granted, I don't condone it, but you're coming off as salty as a group of people found a loophole around- Oh, here we are, the sour grapes. It's like, oh yes, I've just always wanted to show my buttholes of tons of people on the internet for money. <laughs> the TOS and are abusing it. Frankly, these women I mean, should be praised paying, for do. thinking outside the box <laughs> and pandering to an audience that isn't oversaturated. You can't exactly criticize them for being smart enough to know which outlet has a higher chance of yielding income. What do you mean? It takes two seconds to take off my shirt. Literally any woman in the world can do this, but most don't because making on a website mostly populated by minors is gross and insane. Gonna be right. honest, I thought you were a dude. <laughs> Funny you <laughs> shame the women when it's clearly women just taking advantage of the system we live under, capitalism. Yet you call yourself a socialist? A lot of issues do come down to capitalism, but as we do so often with other things, you can criticize people exploiting this system and exploiting the loopholes in this system. We don't just right. hand wave away politicians buying stock. We don't just hand wave away Jeff Bezos making his employees employees pee in bottles just because we live under capitalism and it is what it is. No. Yes, ultimately, I guess it's a capitalism issue. It's a TOS issue. But you'd never apply this standard to people marketing gambling or crypto scams on Twitch, which is funny because like a year ago, there was a, there was like a bunch of gambling drama on Twitch. And one of the biggest critiques people had was there are children on this site. You're basically right. selling gambling to children. So how is this any different? It's amazing that just because they're women, suddenly they get a pass. And if you call it out, you are slut shaming or a pick me, of course. Oh look, Queen Pick Me is at it again, putting down other women. She is I'm not like other girls personified. Okay, this insult normally doesn't work, but it especially doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, I met here many other only other fans girl that I am that like other girl. Thing. I wow, that is such a typical freaking only fans girl answer. I'm not like other girls. Right. But that's the thing you are. And not to mention, when people say that they're not this, 100%, not 99% of the time, they are the, exactly what they're saying they are not. Nice try. Queen Pick Me is at it again, putting down other Oops. women. Shoe is, I'm not like other girls personified. Okay, this insult normally doesn't work, but it especially doesn't work here, because I am like other girls. Most women, in fact, do not make on Twitch. It's incredible how criticism right. of even like a single woman is seen as some personal betrayal. And the only reason you would do so is male attention. I never understood why I need to feel some sort of like loyalty to complete strangers just because we were born the same sex. I don't know you I don't support all of you. Some of you were dumb. Like as if these kids don't have right. access to porn at the tips <laughs> of their Some fingertips. Of you were dumb. Trust me, if they want porn, they will get it. There aren't any toddlers on Twitch as far as I'm aware. It's 13 plus. Do yeah, Americans as as think children aware. will be trying? Hold on. So saying that it's 13 plus still doesn't make it not weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that's still a 13 year old and you're showing this stuff to a 13 year old. So come on, you you literally just put your foot in your mouth. Come on. Yes, Traumatized by seeing <laughs> naked women? Do they not realize those same kids can and do simply go to porn sites to jerk off? Uh, <coughs> shoe. 13 year olds? 13 year olds are doing that? Oh, that seems like it. a problem to me. I would but. doubt it. I hate to tell you this, but the average kid is seeing way worse stuff online all the time. Uh, yeah, that's... That's not a good thing. Let's be real, this ain't nothing to kids nowadays. I grew up with the internet as a kid slash teen and was able to find stuff back in 2002, where now it's literally so easy to find stuff and most teens have phones. I don't think they would be phased by this content. Again, that is a bad thing. Maybe it yeah. shouldn't be that way. Right. I hate this whole, yeah, well, the sensitization. that's just the yes. way things are attitude. That's how you get- this, oh, this is that. this is like I've I've actually want to say something real quick on this that <laughs> pertains to another thing is like uh, had a guy go over and talk about 
how uh, he, he, he has a band. He's a younger guy over in the area. And he was talking about how, like, if you message a venue owner, uh, quite often you'll just essentially get ghosted. And it was kind of surprising because it's like, okay, well, yeah, that happens sometimes or whatever. Like, nobody uh, was arguing that it doesn't happen sometimes. But you'll get these comments of people rolling in well, like, oh, well. I've been doing this for 30 some years and sometimes you just got to like do this and do that. And it's like, no, dude, that, that's not the whole point of what we're talking about here. You're saying that it has been this way for a while. A person is, and even actually to take a step back real quick, it's been this way for a while and it might be digressing, right? It might actually be coming worse or be becoming worse. And then you bring it up. It's like, uh, people have been saying that people are getting paid 500 bucks for a gig for, you know, the past 20 years. And that's just quote unquote, that's just the way it is. It's like, no, that's not the way it needs to be. Okay. When you go over and you do labor for a job, you should be compensated for that labor, especially if somebody is making money off of it. And, you know, for somebody to just be like, well, that's just the way it is. Is just essentially saying, well, I'm just going to let somebody walk all over me for essentially not paying me for my labor. And in this case, getting back to the Twitch thing, well, we're just going to have to accept that every time we get onto a website that's supposed to be for 12 year olds or older, you're going to go up there onto the Twitch, you know, streams and be suggested women slightly holding their boobs off of off of screen and jiggling them. That is not the case. Of where we're going to just say that's just the way it is. Make it an older age cap. Increase the cap for the, the age on the website. Or get them off the website. That's that's the way it is right there. And I I just get really burnt out on people that are like, well, that's just the way it is. Look, dude, I, know, I, I, am, I am not here to go over and just be told that's the way it is. The, I, I understand that's the way it currently is. And I am raising a concern, and therefore you just saying that's the way it is is literally not even engaging with it. It's just saying, yeah, like, well, it, it the world have to be that way, right? It's just ridiculous. People coming yeah, up with was, these, yeah, if it was made that way once, idea. then it can be made another way if people actually try to make it that way. Right. See, I, 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 under, I completely. And behind you on that, or the it is what it is thing. I hate it when people tell me that. I'm like, like, are you just spineless, or do you right. really just not care? Right, right. It's it's like stand up for yourself. In in a lot of times, in this case, yeah, with the Twitch thing, it's like there's not really having to stand up for yourself. But in the case of like what I was talking about, the uh, getting ghosted, and then also getting paid <clears throat> a substandard wage, it's like, dude. Have some self-respect. Have some self-respect. You can't just yeah, uh, have people go over and walk all over you all the time when they're making money off of it. It's like there's obvi obviously a value there. They're making some value out of it, hopefully. And in, in the case that they don't make value out of that, then just don't hire them. That's what I'm saying. is like if it's a case that uh, I don't really think I'm going to make any money, then just say no. Don't hire them then. But to say that... A certain amount of labor has not gone into a task, and that certain amount of labor is worth at least some sort of a minimum wage. That's a cop out. It's just business. It's not personal. Mm -hmm. It's like the answer is no. It's not going to happen no more. Is like making for kids because kids will find porn anyway. There were so many replies to me that were like, "Um, I was watching hardcore." since I was 10 and I turned out fine. Your Twitter likes are public, sir. No, you didn't. You don't see a problem with this because you are extremely desensitized. And honestly, so am I. I'm no swerf. I'm no s worker, exclusionary, radical feminist. Because first of all, I'm not a feminist. It's like our culture has become so overly sexual that it's not even sexual anymore. Our culture is just becoming desensitized to s And that's not a good thing. I guess I just miss the days of tasteful thigh. Because of this oversaturation, <laughs> many in Gen Z are apparently craving normal relationships on the big screen. They're bored of seeing sex everywhere. To right. them, sex has been available one Google click away since they were like 
four years old and it's having really negative outcomes. Like the amount of grown ass millennials calling Gen Zers prudes and puritines is another word I saw. It's just really fucking weird. Like, I'm sorry, we're all addicted gooners. Maybe the younger generation is trying to tell us something. Someone called me a prude over this. Me. Just like with video games when I was a kid. Boys are mad because girls are playing in a space they've deemed theirs and are kicking their asses at it. So first of all, girls have already been in these spaces playing video games for years. There was no issue, so it's kind of weird to be like, sorry, we're kicking your asses, boys. Like kicking their asses at what? Being naked on camera? Being naked on camera in front of minors? I just think it's interesting and ironic how like 10 years ago, these same people were fighting to keep sexualized women out of video games. And now they are fighting to keep sexualized women on Twitch, a website for video games. It has come full circle. <sighs> if only Anita was here to see it. Also, imagine flipping the genders in your stupid did. fake fan fiction. Imagine a grown ass man coming into like is. a female no, space. I, I don't know what's Anita Sarkeesian? Oh my goodness. Female space. The Stanley Cup fandom. Those f***ing cups. Imagine a man coming into the fandom of these f***ing cups, dangling his ding dong around, and people are like, can you stop? That's really weird. And he's just like, oh wow, you just hate men. <laughs> like, f*** you, <laughs> go away. These women aren't stealing anything from the men. If anything, they're stealing from the women. Because the more Twitch becomes a website for this, the more this shit rises to the top. And the more normal streamers, especially women, who don't do this, sink to the bottom. If I was a female, wait, I am a female. If I was a female gamer, if I was a female gamer grinding my ass off in this male dominated space, the same way a lot of men do, and seeing what female content rises to the top of this website, I would be pretty demoralized. Look anywhere, not just Twitch. Sex work starts to appear like the only successful avenue a woman can go down. In 2014, there was a lot of talk about harassment towards women online. And my answer would always be like, just trolls, just block them, just ignore them. Right. They're trying to get a rise out of you, which is still true. But a lot of these people aren't trolls anymore. They're your followers, no. your friends, your allies. You see, sexual harassment has evolved. 15 years ago, it was anonymous trolls oh, entering your chat like, show me your now it's Jeff he him politely asking if you're interested in joining OnlyFans. You know, show me your tits. For money. What is stopping me from right. taking off my shirt and making a ton of money? Besides, you know, a father figure. Pretty much nothing. Any woman can do this, which is why so many women do this. Dig, the pressure is insane for young women now. Yeah. I honestly oh. feel bad for them. I do. I feel bad for women. What is this? What is this strange feeling? But from their point of view, from what they've been told, society is going to sexualize them anyway. You're a woman online and you don't sexualize yourself? That's okay. We got AI for that. Also, while I'm editing yep. this, I just noticed that was an ad. That's an ad on Twitter. It says ad in the corner. Dystopian. Why right. not simply take the in power Russian. back and make <laughs> money off the inevitable? It's, it's getting weird out there. Men and women are being pushed and pulled in so many different directions. Women are being sold this idea that they should be independent girl bosses who don't need no man. And if they want to make the choice to be sex workers, that's their choice. And I consider myself socially libertarian, so I'm all for personal choice. But how much of this really is personal choice? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. When are things going to go back to where you can work and support your family without f***ing stressing out? I can't do this anymore. Like, I just got a good job. I start in September, but even with that job, I still can't do shit. I can't buy anything. I can't afford the rent these days. Like... <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm... Are those butt cheeks right there? I'm just <laughs> feeling <laughs> so much despair. And I know I'm normally, like, really, really positive, but I'm just, oh. like, how is everyone else? And are you okay? Because the answer's probably no. So We're going to just start an OnlyFans. Hold on. Let's let's just, like, look at the, the text on those. I start, I do OnlyFans because I have to pay 
off a little under ten thousand dollars in medical debt. That is exactly. dystopian, dude. That is messed yeah, exactly. That's what I've been saying too. Yeah, see, and that's the reason why that I don't hate OnlyFans as a concept. It's 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 not a. I mean, that, I mean, yeah, we're in a capitalistic society. That's what capitalism is: making money, capitalizing on a certain talent, marketing it, advertising it, and making profit. But however, the problem amongst with not just this but amongst pretty much everything as we went over in multiple previous podcast episodes it's become weaponized to the point right where it is not it's it's only benefiting the person making the money and making the money only while the people that are buying from these people and not only buying but also working for them as an employee are getting screwed in the end <sighs> They are literally being starved to death. They're, the homelessness rate has gone up. The the rate of people applying for SNAP benefits and EBT has gone up. The unemployment rate has also gone up because people are sick and tired of working these these ungodly amount of hours Actually, and getting these. I push back on this, that. The, the I unemployment mean, no, rate I, is, I, a, is at an all time low. It's three point nine percent. But the problem is, is that a lot of those jobs don't pay enough to actually pay the bills. Yeah, and that's why people don't want to work. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Okay, yeah, let me rephrase that. Yeah, I'm not saying that the unemployment rate is at its highest. I'm just saying that people are not wanting to work. There's a, there's a more there's more people not wanting to work. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me there. Jason. I mean, there's I always that, there's always been people that don't want to work. I mean, that's just. But I but I think but I think though, however, there is. But I do think that there is more people not wanting to work because simply for the fact that they know that it, that they they that there's more time <laughs> that they they have to put in more time and spend more hours away from their families and themselves, and what and they don't get really a lot out of it to the point right. where they 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 have to they literally have to make sacrifices to make one end meet while the other crumbles and that's right. not that's not fair that's not cool i mean okay. i i had that i've had that problem myself actually i know exactly what that's like and my mom has been in this situation too i know exactly how that goes and as a matter of fact i'm still kind of in this position right now with my current job you know i don't hate my current job i will say that but however i do get paid 14 dollars an hour but however i get taxed like a mofo i probably get like maybe I, I get paid maybe about four, four, maybe fifty a week, but I get maybe about seventy to like a hundred dollars deducted from my paycheck before it ever comes to my account. Hey Dylan, and that and and that really, you know. Uh, hey, hey Dylan. Sir, sir, are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna start an OnlyFans account? <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's um, thinking about it. <laughs> I'll be your only fan. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, Fresh Grease Podcast audience. Um, right. I will post my link tree down below. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> the first picture is going to be of my elbow. <laughs> Answers probably no. So we're gonna just start an OnlyFans in 48 hours. How much money do you make? <laughs> 48 hours. Oh my god. I made a little over a million dollars. Yep. Forty-seven million to show tits and ass. Why wasn't I born a girl? Their lives are on rookie. I wish I was a girl to make easy money like that. Women have it so easy, it's not even funny. There is a lie perpetuated by people on the internet that OnlyFans is this get-rich-quick scheme, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The average woman on OnlyFans only makes $180 a month, and that's average. Most are making way less than that. But this get-rich-quick lie is not being sold by only random people on the internet, it's also being sold by OnlyFans itself. Kiss that 99-cent ramen goodbye and say hello to endless Bye -bye. opportunities on OnlyFans. This is just the 2023 version of, hey lady, I see you're having financial problems. Say, can you dance? I have a couple of friends who are pretty famous OnlyFans <laughs> and they've disclosed to me that allegedly people who work for OnlyFans have approached them, telling them to post about how much money they made or show off expensive things they bought with 
money they made by being an OnlyFans model in order to recruit more women to be OnlyFans models. This includes showing off handbags, expensive clothes, right. makeup, cars, and even houses. Like, tale as old as time. I just bought um, my first will, house thanks I to OnlyFans. I do have an argument it's on one of on one of the pe one of the examples. Bad Baby, aka Danielle Bergoli, she does not count for this because she actually made an OnlyFans simply because she knew that she was getting attention online from the Dr. Phil show and people were already <laughs> creeping on her for that. And not to mention she also said like a year like a year and a half later after she had made like almost like probably tens of millions of dollars from her OnlyFans that she said that though that the money that the that those people that subscribed their OnlyFans need to be in jail. So right. that right there, I do not like the other ones. Yeah, I completely agree with those. But that one, just that just that lady in, in particular, I do not agree with that because she literally did that because she knew people would do that. And she was and she actually wasn't that bad off. And she was already and she was and she's already a rapper, too, and a social media influence. But really, she got attention because she was highly memed. And then apparently she also exposed Dr. Phil saying that this ranch that she was sent to was uh they verbally and sexually abuse her which i don't think was true which i doubt knowing her because she's not that good of a person i i i've seen her videos i've watched the episode of dr phil that she was on and she was kind of a piece of shit i i am gonna say that <laughs> she she really was she was very disrespectful she was and the way that she talked she and she the, and she she acted like she was a gangster she was but a she's not she was just butt. <laughs> yeah, she was just a gangster wannabe is all she was, and she just wanted attention, and then, well, she got it, and then, you know, society, our Western society is good at, you know, does does what it does best, right. idolize idiots like her, and now look where she's at. She's got, she's uh, now apparently has a scholarship fund called the, the, the Girl Boss Scholarship, and then, like <laughs> I said, she had an OnlyFans, like, right when she turned 18, like, it wasn't, like, within, like, months, it was literally, like, within two days after she turned 18, and she made, like, one point, like, five million dollars on her first day having an OnlyFans after she turned 18, and then she's on an interview with a, with a podcaster, and she was saying that, oh, yeah, those people that, sus that subscribed to my OnlyFans and gave me all that money and made me rich, yeah, they should be in jail. Like, yeah. what the fuck kind of person does that? I'm sorry. I don't respect anybody that 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 thinks like that and talks like that. I'm sorry. And I never respected her to begin with. Cause she's, a, she's. I'm sorry. She's a bitch. Right. That, that's disgusting to do this in general, simple. but right. especially <laughs> disgusting to do this during a housing crisis. It's just evil. It's incredibly, incredibly rare you can make a living doing this, just like YouTube. And I could not imagine if YouTube sold itself like, tired of being poor? Become a YouTuber. Like, <laughs> what? Now, why would they do this? Why would OnlyFans manipulate and entice poor, desperate people like this? Oh, that's why. Of course it is. That's always- $338 million. That is crazy. The way we are all selling our bodies to labor, we are all <laughs> Whether you work at a fast food place, you're a lawyer, or a YouTuber, you're a <laughs> We're all <laughs> for capital. At the end of the day, it's a job. These Twitch girls, these OnlyFans girls, they're getting their bag. Like me, like you, like everyone else. And I guarantee you, a lot of the men who about OnlyFans models would do it instantly if they could. You would all be and why wouldn't you go to college and go 100k in debt for a useless degree that won't get you a job or this why wouldn't you break your back and spirit working a nine to five that you absolutely hate and get no satisfaction from or this why wouldn't you and that for the modern woman is probably the most black pilling question right now why wouldn't you get exploited or exploit yourself. So is it really the Twitch thought's fault? Taking advantage of a market to make it in an overwhelmingly male-dominated field? Is it really her fault for oh, trying to survive in this unforgiving right? world in a society <laughs> that will abuse, exploit, and degrade her anyway? Is it really her fault? Yes! Yes, it is! Get off Twitch! It isn't for porn! The end! So that was that video. I have been wanting to talk about this song. So anyway. I like her. <laughs> so problem or not a problem i haven't heard much from from jesse let's hear it well who knows 
He's in his head like, what the fuck am I? What he's, kind of world am I in right like, now? But if <laughs> I if I denounce this, then how am I going to start an OnlyFans? It's it's just modern <laughs> ignorance. Modern, modern ignorance. Probably got OnlyFans pull up on his phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm looking for Dylan's profile. Right. <laughs> 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 So yeah, what no. what uh, she's talking about there is true. Technically, you are um, selling your body in some way. Um, the thing that I would just say is that it's it. There's a dignified and an undignified way to kind of be taken advantage of. Um. Sure, all of us are technically being taken advantage of every time we show up to a job. We're not going to ultimately make more money than the guy who owns the place. But at the same time, it kind of goes to that social repercussions place where it's like, if you've done sex work type things you're kind of no matter what it i'm not saying i guess it's should it be another way probably but you are opening yourself to scrutiny right you just inherently by doing that thing it is just kind of expected once again and this is where i i push back um you know on these people you know pushing back on this with the twitch thoughts is like they're trying to say, oh, well, this scrutiny is just off the wall and ridiculous and, and you know, I, I just can't can't even understand why somebody would scrutinize this or whatever. And it's like, uh, that's where you lost me, bud. I mean, to go over and coerce your way into people seeing body parts that you wouldn't normally be kind of showing off in a regular public space that is just not appropriate. It's not what we're trying to do around here. I get that we have this capitalist hellscape that we're dealing with on a regular basis. I get that no matter how much we complain about it, it's probably not going to change too much. But at the same time, coercing people and doing this is like, we should be pointing out the problems with that system that caused this in the first place, rather than say poking major uh, uh well maybe that's not the the best wording we shouldn't necessarily be uh so harsh on those people other than saying hey stop stop being manipulative that's fine but at the same time we shouldn't stop there we should say okay what is causing these people to do this in the first place does it seem a little bit too common if it's common why is it common and I think that Shu really hit the nail on the head there. It's like tons and tons of people are looking for that get rich quick scheme. And it's become even more heinous and ridiculous as capitalism continues to drift into the continued failure hellscape. We're now in a cyclical, what is it, like every eight years we have a crash? Something like that. Every six or eight years, the whole stock, mar stock market has to be bailed out or some major companies have to be bailed out. And it's just continuing on. And now they're pushing it onto the rest of the populace who's actually putting forth the money or the, uh, the effort. And it's kind of despicable, man. It's just messed up. I mean, the only reason this is legal is because they can regulate it and tax it. <clears throat> right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I honestly, I thought at first that OnlyFans was not taxed, but then after I read, watched the video, I'm like, oh, I guess they do pay tax because that was my, that was my other stipulation with OnlyFans was, that, well, they're not paying tax, they're not paying, they're not, you know, they're not, there's no tax regulation. Well, I guess there is. So yeah, Jesse's got a point. I mean, they wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't being taxed, now would it? Yeah, exactly. That's the only reason prostitution's illegal. I mean, you can't put a tax on. It's the only renewable resource you cannot tax. Yeah, you yeah, show the only me a place tax legal in, is, in, is in uh, Las Vegas. <laughs> you show me a tax adjuster; they're gonna look at one and tell me how many times it's been poked, and they'll probably figure out a way to tax it. 
<laughs> well, that's why over, that's probably one of the reasons that they- Don't give uh, them ideas, Jesse. <laughs> don't give them ideas. That place out over in Nevada or Vegas or whatever, it's constantly videoed, which I think is both for the safety of the women, but also- you could probably use that as like tax proof. You have like yeah. six months later, we're seeing advertisements yeah. for freaking this little machine called the penile counter. <laughs> they're they're, they're sure going to they're going to start putting chastity belts on them with credit card slots. <laughs> Three ninety nine a minute. And you swipe it unlocked. <laughs> yeah. Dang man! Yeah, just, just a credit card reader. Well, I think we've beat this one into the the ground here. Long story short, don't be coercive just to make a few bucks. If you want to go show your butthole to people for money, by all means, do it within a safe environment and make sure that you're doing it to people who are of age. It's pretty simple. And you know, one thing that I want to just quickly end on here with uh, this particular subject is. Aren't we really talking about consent here? The whole core thing that we're talking about here is consent. And if we want to agree that a 12 and thir- and or 13 year old cannot consent to sexual conduct of any sort, then you are showing them sexual things without their consent. That is what it comes down to. And anybody that comes over and pushes back on that, oh, these oiled up jugs and this and that, or you hate women or whatever. It's like, no, we aren't focusing on the right thing here, guys. We're talking about consent. And if you're trying to tell me on the jugs, focus on the kids. (laughs) If you're coming over here and trying to tell me that a 12 or 13 year old can consent to sexual content, then I'm going to tell you, no, they can't. And no, we're not going to start saying that. Period. But when they created the account, they did agree to the terms of service. But the but terms of service were a lie. Service, then the, the well, terms yeah, of service the, would be a lie. Who, who, who actually read the terms of service? Exactly. And that and like what Jason said, the terms of service does not does not mean that they're being 100 percent equal about that. I mean, they're not equal, enforcing oh it. That's On, the whole point. Yeah, they're, it's not being enforced or they're being honest about it. And, and as a matter of fact, Apple did have that that issue themselves before um, a few de- about like a decade or two ago. And uh, yeah, they uh, they got they got roasted. They got their uh, they got their asses handed to them for that. So they were like, OK, yeah, we need to uh, probably stop doing that. <laughs> So That's very clearly, very clearly and concisely, and I'm going to make this, even this part right here, I'm making this a reel. It's going to be up there. This is the clip. Stop doing things like giving sexual content or coercing people into sexual content <clears throat> who are not of age. It is violating their sexual consent. It's that simple. It's literally yep. that cut and dry. I don't care about the comments about the jugs or whether or not you like women or this or that. You need to stop doing it. It's disgusting. So yeah, anyway, it is. Um, we got a shorter topic here. And then after that, I was thinking about getting on to Pal World for a little bit. But uh, need to need to ban two piece bikinis at the swimming pool. <laughs> I'm hey and and that to me I don't I don't really if it's if the major parts are covered up I'm not going to be a prude that way but if it's like blatantly obvious and they're in a bikini going over and gyrating in front of some 12 year old kid that is stepping over the line man you know like it's just it's just not something you do you know it's like Come on, I'm gonna dude, start a, really? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a hashtag <laughs> called band towels, make them shake it dry. Make it. This is what, one thing my 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 drummer, Still Robert. Still like the Piper Girls girl now? <laughs> this is what my drummer, Robert, one of his sayings that he says on an off, on an often basis that I love. And it, it's this simple. Make it make sense. Just make it make sense. Yeah, make it and make if sense. it don't yep. fucking make sense, like... Okay, can a 12-year-old consent to sexual things? No. no. Then why are you showing them sexual things, you dumbass? 
<laughs> you showed him your freaking right. mammoth milkers. Right. <laughs> but, but that's not what they, that's not what they tell them in school these days. They tell them just say no. So technically, they can consent, right? They can just say no. Uh, some of that is programming, uh, right? Yeah, it's a it's a flaw. You're logic. programming it the the kids to say that they're not like in many cases able to make their own inference as to whether that's wrong or right or. Well, I be, in consent, it's not necessarily a wrong or right situation. It's a them understanding the um, repercussions. repercussions of their actions or whatever. 